Okay. Okay, we're about ready to run the next set of tests. You can see our peak height now is about uh, 5.9 kV. This is the maximum of the generator, just shy of 6 kV. So, again, this tech power, none of the features on this work right now. Let's just, let's, let's just see if uh, 6,000 volts roughly will knock this meter out where it won't power up anymore. And these are roughly uh, 100 microsecond full width half height, 2 ohm source impedance, microsecond ish rise time. And she clicked. Of course, you can hear the LaCroix uh, recaling. Some pretty good sized transients here. Still, uh, won't knock this meter out. Oh, there it went. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm afraid that's the end of her. <laughs> This is looking inside of the TechPower TP2844R. When I first uh, cracked the case on this, boy, it really stunk. I was expecting quite a bit of damage. These two diodes here, it blew the backs off of both of those, but I don't really see any other uh, visible signs of damage. Let's just see here. Maybe we can. Uh, See if anything else breaks down. <laughs> uh, looks like it arcs across the diodes over to the fuse here. Definitely down this high voltage section here where they've got the resistors stacked up. That's definitely not able to withstand this. Yeah, oh well. On to the next meter. Here we have the AM probe, this is the AM530. Boy, this thing's taking, all these meters are taking a lot of abuse. Notice it still powers up. Let's uh, turn on the DC supply. Boy, look at that, 228. Still reads DC voltage. This meter's held up very well. I'm not too surprised because that first damn probe 510 I tested was very robust. Made it all the way in the finals against the Fluke 101. Alright, it's charging up here. Again, this will be roughly 6,000 volts. Nothing. Trying in the uh, ohms mode here. Really? No capacitance mode. <laughs> Can't take it out. Let's try temperature. I gotta tell you, I'm half tempted to repair this meter. <laughs> it's almost like it deserves it. You make it up this far in the testing. I did repair the other one, the old 510. It still works fine. Wow. Yep, unbelievable. I bet you the flashlight even works. Oh yeah. See that? There you go. Go back to volts. 
AC bolts looks good. <laughs> DC bolts looks good. This is one tough meter. <laughs> well, the only thing else I can maybe do to take this out is put it on the other generator. Let's try the next meter. Okay, here we have the circuit test DMR6550. This meter took quite a bit of damage at the last run, 5,000 volts. And you can see it still reads DC volts just fine. It's got a bit of an offset to it, but you know, really, not that bad. You know, a lot of the other modes don't work. You can see in ohms it reads voltage. Reads amps when it's in diode check. Capacitance it reads voltage. Reads amps and hertz. Let's uh, see what happens here at 6,000 volts. Again, it looks like we just can't knock this thing out. I mean, I'm afraid she's got some issues, but you know, I'm surprised here that uh, it'll withstand this. Backlight still works. Hmm. Alright, well, looks like we can't damage this thing any worse than what it is.